I can like be over here and be snapping pictures away. Hi loves, welcome to my channel. My name is Amanda if you are new. And if you're not new here, then welcome back. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys what I use to edit and film my videos. So let's start with the camera. I have here the Rebel T6i from Canon. And I absolutely love this camera. It was the best purchase I ever did. It comes with a lot of good qualities. I don't have any cons yet. So, yeah. Um, if you really want a good camera, do your research. One thing I really like about, many things I actually like about this camera is the Wi-Fi. So as you can see here, it says Wi-Fi certified. So it basically means you can connect the camera to your phone by downloading an app and you can take pictures using your phone so I can like be over here and be snapping pictures away without having to set the timer the only thing I can't do with the app that I have is record but I'm not sure there's an app for that I'm pretty sure there's another app for that but the one the app that I use is camera connect so it also takes my pictures and import my pictures from my camera instead of having to do so many steps like putting the memory card into my computer and downloading them and then importing them to my phone. That's just so much steps and it's like, yeah, nobody likes that. The main reason why I got this camera is because of filming purposes. I used to use, what do I have? Right here. The Sony Cybershot 6.2 megapixel. Yeah, this is very old. Um, I don't know, it still works. The reason why I don't really use this one is because the lens, I think, has like a blur, like a dark blur in it. And it's like, I can't really, I don't want to film having like a dark blur spot like in the background or on my face. I don't know. So that's why I got this for Christmas from my parents about, I don't know how many years ago, but I got this when I was a sophomore in high school and yeah I don't use it as much it was literally store away I don't have the charger for it anymore but I can just plug it in because it has a USB kind of cord so I actually just plugged it in before I filmed to see if it was actually gonna work and it does work and I'm like I guess this camera it brought a lot of memories I bought this camera because I like I said before for filming purposes and also to take like personal use photos like when I'm taking pictures outside with family and friends like or at events and stuff like that I really love this camera it's perfect and I love it I use this camera to take my boyfriend's and my brother's team photos and pictures like that they play football and in the summer it gets so crazy I do not know how many photos I've taken on their team so many photos and I love the what is it? The filter on it, I guess? Not filter. What is it called? Hmm. I can't think of the word, but yeah, I got it. They have different settings, so if they're like running, I can take a really nice picture of them running and stuff like that, and the photo won't be blurry. And I absolutely love it. I'm pretty sure with this camera, I will not be able to take like a picture of them running or in motion because it will be just so blurred and this camera works wonders like photos are really really nice obviously I literally bought this camera the day before the first tournament and yeah it was like I gotta go get it I gotta buy it I really didn't want this one actually same camera but I wanted a different kit I wanted the starter kit that came with like a memory card already and I think like a microphone but they didn't have it in stock where I was so I'm like alright I guess I'll take this one because I need a camera for the tournament so I'm like instant bought it my purchase was a little over $600 plus tax all that stuff so it was pretty worth it I love it I'm basically my boyfriend's and my brother's team photographer I use this I do change the lens out with an older set of lens that my dad has which I don't know what's called but yeah, and it works wonders, so love this camera. Another feature I love about this camera is that it has a flip screen. The T6 doesn't have, well the Canyon T6 doesn't have 
the flip screen but it's the T6i it does come with a flip screen and obviously you can tell this one doesn't have a flip screen and it's hard to film with no flip screen honestly because you don't know when you're in focus you don't know like what's happening can you see yourself are you like in the frame of the video I used to have to use a mirror and put it behind it even with a mirror it was still hard to tell because like you just see yourself and you can't really see what's actually recording this camera is amazing I do love 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 the viewfinder um, it is amazing I'm happy that it doesn't flip up and flip sideways although I know many other cameras do flip up like smaller hand size camera they do flip up if you are looking to start your own youtube channel or anything you don't have to buy a camera right away use what you have now but maybe in the future when you do have enough money or save up go ahead purchase a camera just do your research all right so the big question i get is what i use to edit my videos and i use imovie i post up all the things that i use to film such as camera and editing software always down in my description box and I really love iMovie it came with my MacBook and that's the only reason why I got the MacBook because I really want to edit my own videos and trust me girl or boy if you're a guy watching this MacBook Pro has updated its iMovie so 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 good I remember the editing software back then and it was crap Honestly, it was crap. It was, there weren't a lot of stuff that you can do with it. So, yeah. Unless it was just me. iMovie also has an app on the phone. I have the 7, 7S? Yeah. I have the 7S and I don't use it as much. Only for small things. But for editing, like YouTube videos, I only use my computer. Because I feel like there's more that I can do on there and I feel so much comfortable using my computer because with the phone, with the app, I feel like it's just, I have to be really precise and stuff like that. It's pretty simple. I still do like it. I'm still playing with the app as well and learning how the app works. So if you do have an iPhone, I do recommend checking the app out. Alright, so that's basically it that I have to share. Just the camera and editing software. I always post them down below in my description box as I said before uh, but I'm pretty sure not a lot of people have time to scroll through and look at it it's always down there if you ever do forget I use natural lighting sometimes I will use a one of those like it's not a ring light but those um, big lights that you see in those photography places you know studios yeah but I don't know what's called it's my dad and sometimes it's it's a hassle I would not recommend what my dad has because it's just so much for me to set up. I do plan on getting a ring light sometime, but as of now, it's not my budget right now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was pretty simple, but why not? If you're trying to start a YouTube channel, I hope this works for you. Or just if you want to know how to get better pictures or how to edit really cool videos or pretty nice videos. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give this video a thumbs up if you guys like this video. Comment down below. Give me your thoughts on this video and also video ideas because I am trying to get myself busy and uploading more often now. Alright and make sure to click on the notification bell to be notified when I upload new videos and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!